the Afghanistan war was first launched, it was largely described in security terms, you know, as a direct retaliation to 9-11. But soon after, really, the war kind of was framed as a humanitarian issue. By the G January 2002 State of the Union, President Bush was really talking about the, the quality of life of Afghans improving. And um, we heard less and less about the urgency of, of the crisis there. And, um, and Afghanistan was, you know, was absolutely devastated. It had severe economic, political, and ecological problems. And today still, you know, a quarter of the population does not meet its food standards. Life expectancy is 43 years old. Only 12% of Afghans have um, access to sanitized drinking water. And over 80% of the Afghan women are still illiterate. And overall, it's still the, the least fifth developed country in the world. And so the sweeping rhetoric that we heard about how we were going to rebuild you know, the Afghan nation, it was, it was a belief that was actually shared by many of the diplomats and aid workers who arrived there early on in 2002, 2003, 2004, when I was there. And it was aid workers, diplomats from across the political spectrum. This was just simply, we felt, the right thing to do. And it was utterly destroyed, anyone who landed in there at that time and saw, um, you know, life was extremely bleak. And um, we all desperately wanted to do something to help. And a lot of the diplomats and aid workers that I worked with when I was based at the U.S. Embassy had actually been engaged with Afghanistan before in the 80s um, and a little bit in the 90s. And most of them felt as if, you know, after the embassy closed in January 1989, after the Soviets withdrew, or right before the Soviets withdrew, um, that this was only temporary, that we were going to be back, that um, the Afghanistan deserved, you know, aid delivery after and the Mujahideen had defeated the Soviets. But you know, we had different priorities. The Berlin Wall fell, and all the attention kind of shifted to, to um, Eastern Europe and Russia. And um, there were a lot of efforts, especially by USAID officers, to bring back in aid um, in the 90s. But then you know, we, we forgot about it. So there was this kind of moral sense of obligation that a lot of us felt when we went back in there. Um, but we also saw the issue as being you know, very pragmatic. Um, this, it was the poverty and the low governance where, you know, they were the underlying sources of conflicts. So in order to bring stability to the country, we needed to improve the standards of living, the economic livelihoods, and, and subnational governance. Um, so in the early years between 2002 and 2007, Afghanistan was largely, you know, off of the public radar. But the tragedy was is that we were back, but we couldn't do much of what we were given. And in 2003, when I arrived on Thanksgiving Day, you know, there was less than $1 billion given to, to aid and reconstruction in Afghanistan.